This is Weird663, and this is 7 Days to Die, Day 6. On Day 6, you want to go ahead and start collecting the airdrops along with hunting for meat. Let's start off by crafting 150 wooden spikes, a secured storage chest, and a hunting knife. While we wait for the items to be crafted, let's see if there's any items inside of our inventory we can place inside this chest. If you're still waiting on time, go ahead and organize your inventory so that you know what to put inside the new chest. As soon as your chest is crafted, place it down next to the old one. Now let's go ahead and place all the items that we do not need inside this chest because we need as much empty space as possible when we go out. The items you want to make sure you bring along with you are the hammer, your wooden frames, your letters, and extra wood along with some food. While eating your corn, begin making your way to the second floor door. Now exit the house and begin making your way to the mailbox. Quickly place the hammer, the wooden frames, the ladder, and the wood inside the mailbox. Now let's go ahead and organize your tool belt along with making sure we associate the crossbow bolts with your crossbow by holding the circle button over top of your crossbow and holding up on the L3 stick. Begin making your way to the working stiff. While on your way, look for any bird's nest so that you can try to collect the eggs and the feathers. Also, you want to try to hunt any animal along the way except for the bears. As soon as you get in front of the working stiff, you'll see a path that leads south. That path will lead to a church. You want to follow that path because it does lead to at least one or two deer. If you've killed any deer, you want to go ahead and lay down some spikes right about now because you're right in front of the church and there is a lot of zombies in that church area. Once you finish laying down your last spike, begin creeping around the church area to look for bird's nest and deer. To make things easier at night, it might be safer to go ahead and turn on your miner's hat or at least equip your miner's hat. Once you've cleared out the area of all animals and you've gotten your bird's nest, go ahead and begin making your way south. If you're anywhere in the area of a supply drop, begin making your way to your supply drop. Once at your supply drop, collect everything in it. Make your way to the next supply drop while killing any animals along the way. Once at your supply drop, collect everything in it. Your inventory should be full right about now, so let's go ahead and make our way back to our base. Once we get back to our base, let's go ahead and go into the shed and unload these items inside the refrigerator.
Quickly unload all of the unnecessary items inside the refrigerator. Quickly exit the shed and go ahead and take the path to the right going towards Dyerville, but instead of going to Dyersville, you want to take the path to the left. This pig has now become an annoyance and I am determined to kill this pig. Now that I'm by my supply drops, I'm going to go ahead and make my way in that direction. Since my last two drops are inside the snow biome, I want to make sure I get in and out as quick as possible because I am not dressed for this. Once at your supply drop, collect everything in it. Quickly grab everything out of your last supply drop. Now that we've collected all of our supply drops, let's go ahead and make our way back to our base. Now let's remove those items we placed in the mailbox earlier. Now let's head to the right side of the base, as close as we can to the middle. Now let's go to the top of the wall and begin placing 5 frames out and 4 frames tall. Then let's upgrade only the 4 frames where we're going to place the ladders. Begin making your way to the second floor door. Go inside your house and make your way to the top floor. Quickly take out all of your meat and eggs from your chest. Turn around to your campfire. Make as many bacon and eggs as you can. Turn back around to your chest. Quickly begin removing your items from your inventory to your chest. Begin eating your bacon and eggs and drinking your water to 100%. Before leaving, go ahead and make sure you don't need to craft another fireman's axe or pickaxe. If you do, go ahead and do so. Now let's go ahead and take all those bacon and eggs out of the campfire and put them into the chest. Now head to the door on the second floor. Now that we've collected enough meat, let's go ahead and make our way to the hospital, but still hunt along the way.
To make sure you get into the building a little bit faster, go ahead and bring some frames or craft some frames, and then go ahead and place them down and climb the building using your frames, and then pick them up. Now let's begin looting the hospital. Alright, I filled up my inventory and I have nothing else that I feel like dropping, so I'm going to go ahead and make my way out of the hospital. Now make sure you're in a safe spot where there is no zombies and begin making your way out of the building. Once outside the building, begin making your way back to your base. Now begin making your way upstairs to the top floor. Quickly begin emptying your inventory into your chest. Alright, let's run down the list of things we did today. We went ahead and went after our supply drops, which were prosperous. We had medical supplies as well as items that we could learn. We also went ahead and went to the hospital, which got more medical supplies, and we hunted for meat, and we also got more eggs, which allowed us to get more bacon and eggs. This is Weird663 saying this is the end of 7 Days to Die, Day 6.